Let's talk about what life in the royal spotlight means for these three kids. Will and Kate took their family on an outing to the air tattoo at RAF Fairford today. This meant that royal watchers were treated to photos of their three children. Prince George, the future king, Prince Louis, and Princess Charlotte. But it was this photo that really struck me the most and started me thinking once again about the roles that these children are going to have to play. Because we can talk all we want about Will and Kate's parenting skills, the way that they want a quote unquote normal childhood for their kids. But there, there are no two ways around it. These children need to exist in the public eye. That's sort of part of the deal if you are members of the royal family. Your lifestyle is funded by the taxpayer. The taxpayer wants what they pay for and pictures of cute children is part of that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying by any means that Will and Kate are exploiting their children, but the institution that they belong to definitely is. Amidst a flood of kind of negative or skeptical stories about the monarchy, King Charles' coronation was not nearly the boost to the UK economy that it needed to be in order to rejuvenate thoughts about the royal family. Photos of these kids are the perfect antidote to that for the palace. Everybody loves them. I don't know anybody who hates seeing these children. But it's the implication and the effect of that on these children that worries me. Because make no mistake, the public has already mapped out the roles that these three kids are going to play for for their entire lives. Prince George, the heir, he has shown signs of not being comfortable with the spotlight. He is nine years old, so like, of course, but he's already the shy one. When you have an heir, you also need a spare and Princess Charlotte is already being written into that role. I really hate articles that make it seem like this, this is the role that was meant for her and the implication that she is in any way playing an active role in like modernizing the idea of being a spare, that's disgusting. Saying she kept her brother in line during the queen's funeral when she reminded him to bow when Queen Elizabeth's coffee and drove past them. Royal watchers pick up on these moments and will dissect them until the end of time to show, look, she was always born to be his second, his support. And then of course we know Prince Louis is going to be the cheeky one. He's not really the spare, he's like the spare spare. And I've talked before about he is the one that the press is going to run with the most when they want to have like an antagonist or an anti-hero in these stories, probably when the kids are teenagers and adults. Royalists want these kids to have a personality unique to them so badly. Because what you're looking at is the future of the British monarchy. And if there is an emotional tie to these kids, it makes it more likely that the monarchy will remain more popular in the future. People are going to be emotionally attached to the people within it. Hence the desire to project things onto these kids. Now, I myself, I fell into this trap when Louis turned four. I referred to him, I meant it endearingly as a feral child, but royalists jumped down on my throat saying, leave the kids out of it. Do not project onto the kids. I do regret doing that now. It was right before the Platinum Jubilee when the world kind of was set on fire by Prince Louis' quote unquote cheeky antics. By that time, I had, I had no desire to add to that conversation, but that made it very clear to me that what royalists meant was not leave the kids out of all of this. They meant these are our kids to do with what we want. You're not allowed to talk about them. Like I said, I have no desire to do that anymore. I very rarely talk about the royal children apart from saying they were here and they looked cute. But royalists have no problem inserting the royal children and projecting things onto them to further their own narratives. Like looping Queen Char Princess Charlotte into the burgundy coat drama at Christmas, which was supposedly a swipe at Meghan. And like I said, I, I don't think that Will and Kate are sanctioning this, are exploiting their kids in any way, but they do continue to play into and will benefit from it for years to come. I find it really ironic that people also say that Harry and Meghan are the one exploiting their kids when like by quantity alone, they have released far less content about their children to the public than the royal family has. And like, I'm sure part of the reason that Will and Kate feel that Harry and Meghan are being so selfish is because yeah, Harry and Meghan took the opportunity to grab some privacy for their kids. That is a luxury that Will and Kate do not have and will never have. They do limit the ways that the kids are available to the public. They do sanctioned photo calls rather than taking them out and about most often. But like, as far as psychological impact goes, I don't know the answer. Is it quantity of appearances or is it just the fact that these cameras are being shoved in their faces at all that is going to affect them in the future? I don't know and I hate thinking about that because it makes me really sad. But that's the reality of their situation. That's the system they were born into. And if Will and Kate are going to change that, we haven't really seen it play out just yet.